Jeff Challen here. Okay, so now we've accepted the link to, we've accepted the invitation. So we've cloned a new repository and we've imported that repository into IntelliJ. And so we're almost ready to start work on, in this case, this is MP0, but there's one more really important thing that you need to do, which is you need to identify yourself. Um, when we talked about creating a GitHub account, hopefully what you've done is you've also set your GitHub account up with your Illinois password. But um, in some cases, you may not want to do that. You may want, want to identify yourself using your Illinois address on GitHub. And so we still need a way to identify you when you submit your work. And so what we're going to do in the labs and the MPs is in the root of um, the, the, in the, so the, the root of the directory that contains the code for the lab and MP, there's a file called email.txt, and you can open that file, file in IntelliJ. When you get the MP, it's going to be blank. And let me show you what's going to happen if you try to, for example, run the local auto grader um, before you set up this file. So I'm trying to run the auto grader, and it's complaining. It says, before running the auto grader, please add your email address to email.txt. Um, and this, this is pretty important. We're going to try to help you out here to get you to do this correctly, because if you mess it up, it's going to be a problem. So. For example, you might not get credit for the MP because you put an incorrect email address in here. So let's go over some common mistakes. So let's see here. Let me enter an incorrect email address. So, okay, well, this is my email address. That seems like it should work fine. Run the auto grader again. Um, Uh-oh, I've got another problem here. So this is, uh, the auto grader is also smart enough to realize this is not an illinois.edu email address. Okay, so it's helping me out here, uh, but let's put in, um, maybe I'm going to put in all my email addresses here. Here's another way to do this incorrectly. Um, I'm going to run, try to run the auto grader again. Uh-oh, uh, wrong email account should only have one email. So this is the correct way to do this. Um, use your own email address, not my email address. Don't use the email address of a friend. Um, make very, very, be very careful to make sure that you type your email address properly. Again, if you don't type it properly, you will not get credit for the MP. The auto grader that you run locally really can't tell whether or not you've entered your email correctly. It can only tell that you've entered an at illinois.edu email. So if I put in, like, let's say I misspell my email address, right? Okay, um, I'm going to run the grader, and the grader will work at this point because it doesn't know that I've misspelled my email address, but I'm going to be pretty disappointed later when I try to submit this MP and I don't see my grades online and I don't get a grade for this particular MP. So be very careful to make sure that you type your, um, your email address correctly, um, and uh, that's the, the way that you identify yourself and make sure that you can get credit on the MP or the lab.